Hey troops, Jendik Commando here and welcome to the channel guys. Today I'm really really looking forward to this reaction. Alright, we're going to be reacting to War for Peace. It's a Swedish based documentary. I can't wait to get back on the Swedish videos. Alright, we had massive crowds from Sweden before. I love you guys from Sweden. And yeah, this wasn't due to uh, be reacted to until about next month, guys. All right, so a couple of weeks away. But I'm pushing it forward because, yeah, I've missed it, guys. And let's just get amongst this one straight away. But before we do that, guys, just give my merchandise a little bit of a check over behind us there. It's um, We've got some good stuff in there. Now, if you want to go check any of that out, the link will be in the description. Mugs and the face masks are doing pretty well. All right, so go check those out, troops. You don't want to catch anything. Gender Commando Twitch as well. We go on there every night, guys. And as you can see, we stream for at least three hours. All right, at least three hours. Just go on there, troops. We have some some good fun on there, and I'm sure you'll all agree. If you've been on there, drop a comment in the live chat. It's a fantastic place, guys. But yeah, if you don't mind liking this video, subscribing to the channel if you haven't done that already. Please, please, please subscribe, guys. And join the Discord. The Discord group is in the description, guys. Okay, and yeah. That's it. We're just going to get straight into this one. Much love to each and every one of you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Right, how do you say that? Krieg for Fred. Sweden Afghanistan documentary with English subtitles, guys. Really looking forward to this one, troops. Really, really looking forward. During our tour of duty, we have seen many improvements. For the first time in years, daily life is improved for the poor people who have previously lived under Taliban terror. More children participate in school education. A parliamentary election has been held with 90% of the polling centers open in the area. There's the guys. The coordination between the Afghan authorities and ISAF has been improved. The general opinion is thus that the Afghan peace process is continuously taking steps forward. Okay guys, I've heard that this one's very different to the other series that we've been reacting to. I'm expecting big things from this, so yeah, if you've um how I like to do this, guys, I like to ask the question, if anyone has in, been involved in this series or uh, was in Afghanistan at the time, please drop a comment and I'd want to hear from you guys. It's lovely speaking to you all. It would be so hot in the back of there. Nu ska vi passera igenom ett pass här och där har våra enheter haft sammanstöt med fienden tidigare. Vi ska flyga över topparna först med en liten radiostyrt flygplan med kamera för att se om det finns några fiender. Finns några fiender där så hoppas vi på bomba dem. <laughs> Straight to the point guys, all right? He's not messing about. If there's enemy there, we're going to bomb them. <laughs> awesome. I like him already. It's a nice bit of kit. What is that, guys? Creek for Fred. Pergite. Let's go, guys.
He looks badass, hard as nails, walking around, not one F given, just smoking on his cigarette there. Tough guys. Frederick. Den afghanska säkerhetspolisen har rapporterat oroligheter i södra delen av det svenska ansvarsområdet. En 150 man stark trupp anländer till byn Jargan. I operationen ingår afghansk militär och polis tillsammans med svenska soldater. De har som uppgift att söka och gripa talibaner i området. Is this school books for counting? Yeah. Yeah. So that was the school? Dushman. Dushman, yeah. Right, so they're working alongside the Afghan National Police, I believe, and the army as well. They are against humanity, against human being, anywhere that they are. If we keep these books for our schools, we can teach our generation for the future of our country. The meaning of that sentence is we start by the name of God. That's too bad for us that they even burned the name of God. Right, so they've burnt those, and um, that's a big no-no, guys, all right, for them. So, yeah, we'll see how they respond to that. Och folk sa de andra gången, vi vill inte att talibanerna ska vara här, i det här området. Så att de var här fram till igår kväll. Okay, so they're talking to the village elders then, see how they're going to tackle this. Um, speaking to these individuals was a bigger part of that um, military operation than actually fighting guys, all right? Gathering information on the ground, being compassionate. We've seen a lot of compassion in the last series we uh, done about the Finland in um, Afghanistan. We've still got two more series to do on that, actually. But yeah, it's nice to see a different perspective on this all. Um, Afghanistan series and it's good to see Sweden getting involved in this as well I'm really looking forward to watching the entire six of these guys if you are too don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel troops in Afghanistan it has drygt 500 Swedish soldiers Six months in target. So that's the same as the the Brits. Then we serve about six months in these places, depending on the type of operation, etc., etc. But yeah, it's very similar, guys. Huvuddelen av personalen är posterad på Camp Northern Lights i Mazari Sharif. Mazari Sharif. Under 2010 dödades tre svenska soldater. Den 16 oktober förlorade skyttepletonen Alpha Quebec vännen och kollegan Kenneth. Rest in peace, brothers. Rest in peace. Under strid körde de på. In fact, hang on, there was a, there was a British uh, sign there, wasn't there? October, förlorade skyttepletonen Alpha Quebec. Yeah, Alpha uh, UK, Swedes, Finnish. I'm not sure what the other one is. Quebec, vännen och kollegan Kenneth. Under strid körde de på en vägmina. Terrible man. Rest in peace. 
Det är en solid fot, har inga skarvar här. Var Nej, jag kör den i explosionen. Ja. Så där ser du bakkanten på vagnskeppluckan, bakre. Det står trycket där. Axeln. Clean off liksom. Det är steg där ganska duktigt. Här utifrån själva platsen. Ja. Du har lite armeringsjärn som sticker upp där någon båtstycken. Det då är en jävla smäll. Men vi vet att det är en kaliber där också. Ja. Mm. Men vi besvarar den ganska länge. Ja, det är så som två till och med. Ja, 300. Bortsett 400 till och med kanske. Men det var rätt mycket att hantera just då. Och Kenneth Wallin var mitt ansvar. Det var mitt beslut att framrycka som vi gjorde. Han var mitt ansvar. Och det är någonting man får leva med resten av sitt liv. That must be a hard thing guys. Obviously in a position of charge, being in charge and he's living with those consequences. It's He's taking it on the chin, saying it's his fault, but what a tough job he's got, guys. What a tough, tough job. It's it's almost unbelievably humble that he's taking it on the chin, on TV and, and, and admitting that. What a guy. I've got nothing but respect for this individual for saying that. Let's drop some R's in the chat, guys, for respect for him. So... Och det är chefens lopp. Så här att vara militär. Det känns ändå oerhört på något konstigt sätt om man säger det. You can tell he's hurting, man. Vi bodde tillsammans, jag och Kenneth. Så när jag såg Kenneth sluta så var jag bott själv. Det var först att jag var vill att jag skulle... Det skulle stoppa in någon annan här, men jag tänkte, jag, det, jag lät det gå några dagar och fundera och så, för nej, jag tyckte det kändes okej okay att, att fortsätta. Det kändes inte, det kändes rätt att göra det. Liksom det här var ju, det var vår del så att säga, om man säger som så. Det var fem ombord som var rörda. Ja, fem plus sex plus hästen. Ja, prästen. Sju med Kenneth. It's never easy seeing seen death, guys. Vi är ju inte hela när vi åker hem. Vi saknar en jätteviktig bit. Vi har inte kännat med oss. Så enkelt är det. Och jag känner en sorg hon saknar efter honom. Och det är också en påminnelse om det allvar vi möter här nere. Johan och Gunnar, de, de, de stupar i februari. Kenneth nu i oktober, det är, det är inte slut igen. Det är fler som kommer, som kommer dö. Guys, this is this is tough, man. This is tough to watch, guys. Watching these guys react about their brother in arms that way, that's that's upsetting, man. Respect to all of these guys who've lost their lives at war, on both sides as well. So we've got a mentor for the year and year. The mentors for the Afghan National Army are one of the hardest jobs, I think, one of the hardest jobs, although it's non-kinetic in terms of you're not going to get very many rounds down range, but guys, trying to teach these um, these lot over there, it was found, found it quite difficult, especially from the Finnish documentary in Afghan. It's just it's nigh on impossible, all right, to communicate effectively with the uh, individuals on the other side. <laughs> Den afghanska säkerhetspolisen NDS har gett information som får styrkan att leta efter talibaner i området. NDS har rapporterat att ett antal insurgenter som har varit i den här byn har nu dragit sig ur då till en annan by och där är då ett eh, stronghold som de kallar det då. De lämnar Jagan för att ta sig närmare talibanerna. De rör sig mot en höjd nära Ngala. Thank you.
Atmospherics, guys. Atmospherics changing a bit. Detained a civilian. Det som har hänt är att vi har byn framme här. Vi har vi fått i nordlig riktning fin kaliber eld. Long so it looks as if they're going to potentially go towards somewhere where they've uh, seen enemy combatants and they've been fired upon as well. Inga avstånd, inga fientliga verksamheter vi sett och bara hört uh, fin kaliber eld. Uh, they were seeing somebody right over there in that high spot. On the top of the top. 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 And he was shooting from there. So it looks like they're shooting from high up as well, guys. Getting a strategical advantage by getting at a high point. Okay, it's quite common in guerrilla warfare as well. With these people, they understand the land better than um, our our allies and our brothers. Okay, so. These people can shoot from distances, from places, and be gone within seconds. It's uh, really hard to pinpoint them. If you've been to Afghanistan, please drop some comments below if you think I'm right on that, or if you disagree with that point. <laughs> Yeah, so it looks like the shots coming from that direction, guys. If you managed to be uh, be part of the video f up until now, please like the video, guys. Please hit that like button. Please subscribe to the channel, troops. Eight enemies in total. Yeah. Ah, okay. We have taken the right side. We have an incident on the right side here, and eight bicycles on the lower side. Not so long we haven't had any close contact with them. We can see here what the two chiefs and the mentor cook up for plan here. Right then, it's go time I guess guys. Are they going to attack or are they going to move back? That is the question. I guess we're going to find out. He's a brave fellow, like you said, but not very intelligent. He doesn't know he can affect us. Maybe he's, maybe he's trying to draw them in to something else, though. That's what I would be thinking straight away there. Are they trying to draw them into something else? You know, with these guys, you can't you can't trust anything. Okay, with the the enemy. All right, so it'll be interesting to see how the Swedes react. I also lower the training level, so all the guys understand that they can't be trusted. 
Oh, we're getting the 50 cal on the go. Now that will reach. <laughs> that will reach. That's a dangerous weapon as well. And the trajectory on it as well with a 50 cal, it, unlike um, assault rifles, it doesn't tend to go like this, then hit the target. It's a straight line tra uh, trajectory, all right? Trajectory, so it's going to hit the target, guys, all right? These guys know how to shoot as well. Hey, I tell you what, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm pausing it for a second because I just want to let you know. I've got a good feeling about this documentary. I like it already, all right? It's it's good. It's different. It's good. I think it needed. we needed that spark, that fresh spark, and Sweden always always gives us the answers, guys. Whoever recommended this to me in Discord, thank you very much because uh, I'm liking this already, guys, all right? Really like it. It's really interesting. I've heard British soldiers say the exact same thing. I've heard British people say the exact same thing as what he's saying there. And it's a good thing to think about, really. Did the war in Afghanistan make the region more unstable? Or more unstable, rather? From his perspective, it, 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 went, it went downhill. It hasn't got any better. And from a few perspectives that I've heard in, in Britain, they've said the same thing. It's interesting that. What do you think? Drop a comment below, guys, if you think, um, if you agree with him, or if you disagree, why? So now, it seems like it's gone to the wrong side. Now we're going to the minst man can do at home, and you present a... En rättvis bild eftersom man faktiskt skickar iväg folk hit. Då får man ju ta ansvaret hemma också. Mm. That's det really important. Bild. För just nu så tycker jag inte statsmakterna tar sitt fulla ansvar. När man presenterar inte en rättvis bild. Så länge man inte gör det så kommer det finnas en oförståelse. Fokuset finns ju någon helt annanstans i försvarsmakten på vad som är viktigt. Så jävla mycket mjuka värden och lullull liksom. Det är ju dags liksom att... Uh... Ja. Det som är drabbade oss igen är att vi, vi faktiskt har hjälp folk på andra sidan. Och det brukar bli en och en halv rad. Då är det svensk trupp och skjuter, inga egna skador. Så brukar det heta ju. Det här är ju faktiskt ingen lek ju. Detta är på riktigt, detta är på allvar. Men det tycker jag också är en sån här sak som man inte pratar om så ofta kanske, hemma. Alla vill ju vara i strid, men det är ju någonting som, som liksom tycker jag när man pratar om det i storforum på skolor och andra utbildningsenheter, det är ju någonting som är lite något som är lite smutsigt 
Någon som är, något som inte är liksom ja, du, bara... yeah, I found that um, you know we would like to think and uh, what I'm going to say is quite controversial here but it's what what I've felt and I wonder if you guys feel the same is that sometimes um you, you believe that when you join the military it could be an excellent thing and you know civilians are going to appreciate that government's going to appreciate you and everything else but when I left the military it's almost like having that military attachment in certain jobs can almost be a bad thing all right I found that anyway I don't know if it's a, it's just a personal belief or if it's my reality or if they're both confused together but I've seen that it can be quite a good thing for officers for instance but normal um soldiers such as myself I don't really think it's um as I don't I don't really think it can be as is is a positive as as I thought it would have been you know I think people tend to look at you quite differently I think there's a stigma associated with has everyone got PTSD and all of this all right I think there's a lot more negatives involved in it guys that um you have to be prepared for when you leave and what this gentleman seems to be going through is um a massive thought process uh, he's changing his thought his thought process is based on probably the death of his very good friend um I think he's seeing the other side of this war now, which is changing his whole opinion on it, which is really interesting. I'm looking forward to seeing how this develops throughout the whole series, guys. If you've managed to stay this far on the video, please like and subscribe, guys. Han ville släcka ett hus. Jag pratar med plutonchefen och bara, vad är syftet med operationen? Du arresterar eller förintar fienden? Arrest att, or kill. När vi ändå har de här så ska man ju, borde man ju försöka trycka på ytterligare. Ja visst. Vi låg jävligt rätt. Okay, that's good. So they've uh, arrest or kill them. But because obviously the enemy has been firing at them, they're probably going to put the pressure on as he's just said. And we might see some action here, guys. Men plutonchefen vill vi ska skjuta lite mer. Kan du göra det eller? Det är överens nu va? Vi vill bomba kullen eller? så tycker jag mig. Förlåt. I och med att de skjuter så skjuter de ju på oss. Då har de visat hostile intent som det kallas. Min bedömning är att får vi fram eh, attackflyg hit så kommer vi att kunna bomba eh, höjden där borta. Skjut ner! Skjut ner! Bra! Skjut ner! Skjut ner! Vi eh, hörselobserverar ju fientlig eldgivning och eh, vi har svårt att få målupptäckt härifrån eh, på grund av det långa avståndet. Men eh, vi uppfattar ju att de försöker skjuta på oss eh, helt verkanslöst men eh, dock eh, med en fientlig avsikt bakom. Year 10, maybe it's the Warthog. What's it going to be, guys? In this case, the enemy has no understanding of our system. They shoot at us. They have shown a friendly intention. And then we have our fighter jets fully equipped to bomb them, according to me. Samt the orientation. Yeah, the enemy has bestowed. Vi har ingen tid än på leverans. Vi har observation toppen vänster. Där har vi minst en skyddsobservation. When we have Frederick, we have everything. We have SUIV, we have, yeah. 
DOD, we have Jetta, we have Air Force, everything. <laughs> we do our best. <laughs> Se dem fienden och lägga bomben på dem så slår de ut. Det blir ingen bomb. Yeah, it's going to be carnage when they drop the Most drop the bees on them guys. Motståndare som inte vet vad de ska göra av sin framtid. Då är det lättare liksom, ja, motståndaren, om de bekämpar det eller nedkämpar det, det är mycket lättare. Än att prata i termer som att det är människor som har en familj och så vidare. Jag ska inte... Yeah, it's an interesting concept and I've heard that said be, uh, before with a few guys. And I guess it takes us back to train as well, guys. And the way they train military personnel, I remember when I was in, was it was targets up, targets down, targets up, targets down. When you're shooting, when you're practicing, targets up, targets down. And little do you know, you're being um, not necessarily brainwashed, but conditioned into, you know, it's not an enemy, it's a, it's a target. Targets up, targets down, targets up, targets down. And it goes through your head and head over and over and over again, so it's just a target, all right? And I guess you could say it's a form of brainwashing, but it's it's brain conditioning, should we say. It sounds a bit better. Du håller på att blanda in liksom för mycket personliga känslor i vad jag håller på med på mitt jobb. Speciellt inte när... And this is another thing as well, what he said there. It'd be interesting to see what his take on that is now. He, he doesn't want to take too much, um, to, to take it personally too much. But that was his perspective now, whether or not it's personal 10 years later in the mind. That would be interesting because the way PTSD seems to work is it doesn't rear its ugly head until about 10, 15 years later. Obviously, the brain changes, it develops, and those thought patterns may change. Something that might have been personal 10 years ago might be completely different now. Yeah. What's your take on that, guys? Drop a comment below. I'd like to hear from you. För det gör inte jag, jag tar inte livet av folk. Jag löser min uppgift och det kan innebära att jag nedkämpar eller bekämpar motståndare. Jag tänker inte stå och säga att jag har tagit livet av folk. Fan heller, jag har löst uppgiften. Jag har nedkämpat eller bekämpat motståndare för att det krävdes för att lösa min uppgift. Sen finns det säkert de som tycker att det blir jobbigare och inte veta vem det är. Men det kan ju vara en familjefar. Någon barn att försörja. Någon som har... <laughs> Någon som har fått liksom, här har du en... Här har du några dollar. Häng med och skjut på dem. Så kan det också vara. Som inte har med saken att göra. Han ska bara lite stå där. Skaffa levebröd till sin uh, familj. Så kan det också vara. And that was the case many times so I've heard. Det lämnar inte en oberör att ta en annan människas liv. Det är, det är någon annan som kommer att störa där ju. Hur det än är. Även om han är ute i onda avsikter. Enligt vårt tyckande och tänkande. Ja, yeah, that's very true. Very true, guys. He seems like a wise man. I bergen väntar de svenska och afghanska trupperna på flygunderstöd. Ett amerikanskt bombplan är i luften och närmar sig platsen. Hello. I The airplanes, they have some problems. They can't see the enemy. So I think we should try to fire off a few rounds with the mortars. Every time we done that before, they have returned fire. Mega tayara koshish kar rahe hain mauket durust dushman paida na kare. Is he eating a snowball there? He is, he's eating a, s a snowball. <laughs> Fair one. I guess uh, there's no ice lollies around for miles, so I've never seen that before. Don't eat yellow snow, though. That's the most important thing. <laughs> Kan se om han gör som han tidigare gjort, det vill säga att han besvarar elden så att flyget kan se honom och att de kan bomba honom. Jan svarar, slut kom. Det är bara skjut på dem. Det är lite pausmusik. 
Mortars, mortars, mortars. Ah, they're firing again. Det är vår verklighet här nere. Vi vet att det dör människor i krig. Vi blir faktiskt ganska nöjda när det dör rätt människor. Vi blir väldigt ledsna när våra killar dör. Och vi gör inte någon skillnad på när det är våra bröder inom Hana och våra egna. Utan det är... Vi ser det som en... That's nice. It's nice that they make no... Um, there's no division in their thought processes um, of who their brothers are, all right? The Afghan National Army, ANP, the Afghan National Police, and the, the Swedish brothers as well. There's there's no difference, in they don't distinguish any difference between them. That's nice, guys, that they're working in, uh, in that way. Framgång när vi lyckas ta ihjäl några av de där som ligger sjukt på oss där uppe. Och vi hoppas på att vi inte ska förlora några av våra egna, Anna och Lisa. Du är där. De har ju valt själva. De är medvetna om riskerna. Det är våran, de är fejerna helt enkelt. Got the GoPros out. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're dropping the bombs on. Oh, that's how we long from. And it's good night. Right, so this looks like it's the next episode, guys, there. So on that note, what I think we're going to do is... We're going to talk about that for a few seconds, guys, because I think that is worth talking about. Yeah. Wow. So you Swedes, you you never you never fail, all right. You never fail to surprise me with um, the content is always good. Really, really loving this first episode of the six. I can't wait to do the next ones. I might react to this every day for the next six days just to keep the momentum going, guys. But I want to say thank you to each and every one of you for um, stopping by and taking time to watch this uh, reaction, all right? It really, I really do appreciate it, guys. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys as well for tuning into the channel, subscribing into me, and, yeah, liking all of the videos and all of that good stuff. It really does mean an awful lot, guys. My intentions for the rest of this year is to just keep on going with all of these reactions, keep on giving content for you guys to be able to enjoy... Um, and yeah, I just hope that we can reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Yeah, we've got a few more months yet. But let's see if we can do it, guys. Let's see if we can get that 10k. Yeah, and then onwards and upwards. But I need your help, guys. I need you to like, share the content, and subscribe to the channel, okay? I'd really, really appreciate that. But I appreciate you all nonetheless. All right. If you do want to speak to me or anyone else, please join the Discord. The link is in the description. I'm sure one of our fantastic moderators will drop the links in for you. If you want any merchandise, the link is in the description as well. All right. It would really, really help me and the channel to grow um, by you uh, by you buying some of the stuff on there. And if, if you have actually managed to donate to me on the channel, you um, you guys are helping me out in ways that you wouldn't believe. Okay, in terms of me being able to bring you this content each and every day. Yeah. I couldn't do it without you guys, and I just want to say thank you if you've donated. All right, really do appreciate it. But anyway, hopefully we've had plenty of Swedish people in the chat. 
plenty of Finland uh, people in the chat and we're going to get onto the Finnish series um, in the next couple of days and finish that one off all right because it's been great as well I'm going to love you and leave you now guys stay classy love you all see you next time bye